Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a bathroom exhaust fan switch. This switch right here is the switch for exhaust fan. Like I turn it on, you can hear the noise. And I turn it off. Today, I'm going to change this switch with a Leviton Decora 30 minute preset timer switch. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete this project. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. The question is, why do I need a preset timer switch with the bathroom exhaust fan? There are many reasons. Either we leave this switch on after taking shower or after going to the bathroom and then forget it. Or we quickly turn it off as soon as we get out of the bathroom, there's a problem in both cases. If we leave it on, we forget it. And then sometimes it stays on for many, many hours. That's a waste of energy. Especially in winter time, the exhaust fan keeps on throwing out the heat from inside the house. It affects the hydro bills. And if we turn off the fan immediately after getting out of the bathroom, the moisture and humidity stays in the bathroom. Excessive humidity, excessive moisture can cause mold in the bathroom. So we have a problem either way. So what is the solution? Is there a middle way? The answer is yes. And this is the answer. Install a preset timer switch, leave the exhaust fan on and it will automatically turn off after a certain number of minutes. For example, this switch is a 30 minute preset timer and you can select, you can leave the fan on for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or 30 minutes at the most. These switches, they come in different preset time durations. You can have one for 60 minutes, 2 hours or even up to 12 hours. The choice is yours. And I also selected this switch because it does not require a neutral wire. I have another switch here with me. This one is from Lutron. This is 60 minute timer but this requires a neutral wire. And this may be a problem in older installations where neutral wire is not available. So I would rather go with the one which does not require a neutral wire. So let's get started. This is how the switch looks like. You can see the buttons here. Off button. 5 minute timer, 10 minute timer, 15 minute timer and 30 minute timer. With each of these buttons, there is an indicator light here, which indicates how long the fan will keep running after the switch is turned on. Let's take a look at the wires. There are two black wires here. On the left side, this wire is the line wire, which is connected to the incoming power. This wire here on the right side is the load wire, which goes to the fan. Now this white wire with green sleeve indicates that if you have a neutral wire, connect this wire to the neutral. If you do not have a neutral wire, then leave the green sleeve on and connect it to the ground. So in those situations, in those installations where we do not have the neutral wire available, we connect the white neutral wire to the ground. And this switch comes with all installation instructions. It's always good to read the instructions before we start the project. The fan is on now. I will go ahead and turn off the circuit breaker and then safely remove the cover plate and the exhaust fan switch. I just turned off the circuit breaker and you might have noticed that everything is off now. No light, no fan, nothing. I will now safely remove this wall plate and the exhaust fan switch. When removing the wall plate, make sure you keep an eye on these small screws. If they fall down and you lose them, it's very difficult to find them on the floor. Safety first, I will use my Clyde Tools non-contact voltage tester to make sure that there's no power inside the switch box. All good, there's no power. I can now remove this switch. Check one more time on the switch terminals as well as inside the box to make sure that there is really no power. It did not beep, the LED light did not turn red, that means there is no power and it is safe to proceed. Now looking closely at this switch, I can see three black wires connected to the bottom screw, two wires connected to the screw 
and one wire, one black wire which is backstabbed here. So most probably this is the line or hot wire. There's one wire backstabbed on the upper screw and this is most likely going to the exhaust fan. I can see all white neutral wires connected together with a big wire nut. When we have only one black hot wire on each of these terminals, then we will have to find out which of them is line and which of them is neutral because we don't want to make any mistake in connecting the new timer switch. So in order to confirm which of these black wires is hot or line and which of these is load, I will have to turn on the power temporarily. But before I do that, I will remove these wires and cover them with a VAG over 11 nut connector. I have sufficient length of wire here, so I will just cut it off. These three wires were together. Strip the wire again and cover it with a 2 pin VAGO 11 nut connector. These three wires are together. I will use a 3 pin VAGO 11 nut connector to temporarily cover them. This is a good thing about VAGO 11 nut connectors. You can use them, remove them and then reuse them. I will now go and turn on the circuit breaker. Circuit breaker is on. No, so this was the load wire and all these wires are the line wires. I will now turn off the circuit breaker again and then connect the new timer switch. Circuit breaker is off. Just want to make sure one more time that there is no power. I can now connect the new timer switch. I can see a bunch of white neutral wires. So I need a neutral wire so I will pull it out. For that I have to remove this switch as well. I will prepare the wires of the new switch. We have to twist them because all of these wires are standard wires. I will connect the ground first. I made a little hook here and I can see ground screw free in the box. I will use that. Safe and secure. So all good. Neutral is next. I need to step this wire a bit more so that it is a little longer than these ones. And twist again. Wrap it with hand and replace the wire nut. I will wrap some black tape around this so the chances of any wire getting loose are minimized. I can now push this into the box. Next I will connect the load wire and this is the load wire here. This black wire here was the, my load wire. Again Vago 11 nut connector. It can take standard wires as well. So I will use that and this wire goes to the exhaust fan. Next, my line wire. Now I have to connect four black wires together. For this I will use a 5 pin VAGO 11 nut connector. Remove this temporary connector, free all these wires and then insert all these wires into the VAGO 11 nut connector. Pull each of the wires a bit to make sure the connection is not loose. Also on the back side you can see the bare copper must go all the way up to the top. Push these wires into the box and then tighten this. This switch goes first. Make sure the marking is upright. I'll keep them a bit loose right now. I need to test it and also I need to make sure that the plate will nicely fit on top of them. I will turn on power and test the switches before I install the wall plate. So with circuit breaker on, I have to make sure that I did not disturb any of the other switch connections. Light works okay. This light is inside the shower, works fine. This light is good, no problem. This light is good, no problem. I can notice this green indicator is on. That means it is powered on. Press the 5 minute button. The green indicator besides 5 minutes is on. Or I can make the time 10 minutes, 15 minutes or 30 minutes. So whatever time you require, you can press the same button. And anytime you want to turn the exhaust fan off before the preset time, 
you can simply press the bottom button and the fan is off. So everything works fine. I can now tighten these screws and put the wall plate back on. The screws in center first, then I will tighten these two. After that, these two cross. This is just to make sure that I do not over tight any of these screws. Wall plate is back on. The circuit breaker is on. Everything looks nice. Light works good. The new exhaust fan timer switch is on, indicated by this green light at the bottom. Press any of these switches, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whichever you like. The corresponding green LED light will come on and turn it off anytime from here. For testing the switch, I will turn on the 5 minute timer and check back after 5 minutes whether the fan is off or still running. That's all for this video. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave. There are several other DIY videos on my channel. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, please take care.